I'm hearing is that the earthquake, first of all, has been upgraded to 8.3 magnitude. It was initially uh, estimated at 7.8, but it has uh, moved up. The tsunami waves has hit um, the northern town of Pisawa, in, uh, again, in northern Chile. The evacuation is proceeding in normally. Northern Chile has been expecting a major earthquake uh, for the past uh, uh, while. There were a number of exercises in the in, in in the near past so people have uh, uh, know where they have to go to the safety zones uh, in northern chile the cities are all located on 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 the coastline and uh, they're on low line and they have to go up to the mountain they are being advised not to take vehicles but to walk uh, also i would have to mention that uh, no injuries have been reported uh, so far, in terms of infrastructure, the lights are on in uh, on the cities uh, from uh, from my vantage point here in Santiago, and the tsunami warning has been issued for the entire coastline of Chile, which is about 5,000 kilometers, and also for Peru and Ecuador. Uh, you mentioned there, Jorge, about the town of Pisawa that's already been hit by the tsunami. Can you give us any indication as to the number of people who live in that town? Pisawa is a, is a small uh, fishing uh, port uh, uh, with a small, uh, it's, it's a small fishing town, and nothing more than a than a few thousand people, and they have the 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 mountains uh, just at at their disposal by simply walking uh, about uh, 20 minutes, and they're already in a, in in a safe, secure zone. The advantage of living, I guess, in this part is that. You, you're very close to the sea, but at the same time very close to the mountain. Do you think there was enough warning uh, of this quake, of this, uh, this tsunami that followed, given the fact that there have been a number of tremors felt over the last couple of weeks? The, the, the tsunami... Um can you repeat the question? I missed that. Yes, my, yes. My, my phone rang, so. No, 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 my apologies. I'm just wondering if you think there was enough warning given to the residents in these affected areas that they should leave oh, surely, their homes. Surely, surely, surely. The, war the warning was issued as soon as the earthquake was felt, uh, um, and the, the tsunami warnings, uh, sirens, uh, uh, were felt uh, immedi nearly immediately, and all the services, um, emergency services, began reporting and telling people, the police through, through their bull horns, uh, car horns, uh, the firefighters telling people to go to the evacuation zones. So, and there's uh, reports already uh, through television, I guess on the internet, of sirens uh, wailing in, in the northern cities of Iquique, uh, Arica, and Antofagasta, which are the major urban centers uh, uh, north of Chile. Yeah, Jorge, that we we're actually looking at pictures from Chilean television right now. Uh, these appear to show uh, buildings uh, shaking uh, in those tremors. Have you heard much reports of, of any buildings collapsing, perhaps? We heard earlier that there had been some landslides. Uh, some sl uh, landslides it's, uh, are possible. I cannot verify that, but I, I would not discount it. Now, in terms of building collapsing, uh, Chile has extremely severe earthquake seismic resistant construction. Um, the, the, in terms of physical destruction, it would be minimal. Buildings have been designed to withstand major, major earthquakes, even greater than 8.0. Because of the history of Chile, engineering in this case for construction is very solid and redundancy is uh, built into buildings. So the height of the building uh, will not, uh, or the structures will not be damaged. The same thing for housing. Uh, any reports on national television as yes as to any injuries? No reports so far from what I'm seeing. Uh, you mentioned there about uh, Chile's history with uh, earthquakes and the fact that uh, the infrastructure has been adjusted to, to cope with these, these shocks and these tremors. It was back in 2010 in just off uh, central Chile that a tsunami hit and uh, more than 500 people were killed. And also the strongest earthquake ever recorded has also happened in Chile. So the, the people living in these areas are no stranger to these earthquakes, to these warnings, and uh, hopefully as best prepared as they could be. Uh, there, we're, uh, we should be as best prepared as we could be. Although the night, the, the 2010 earthquake, the, the tsunami alert was never issued. 
and that was the cause of the 500 uh, deaths or so. And because the tsunami alert was never issued, despite the fact all the all the all the uh, all the uh, um, uh, I guess all the information was available, people were told to stay in their homes, and that's why the the the, the large casualties uh, felt at that time, which were clearly 500, 500 deaths or more. It's large. It's a large. It's a significant number when compared with deaths with similar earthquakes in other parts of the world.